Hello, welcome to bakingmad.com. I'm here to show you how to make the three-tier ombre cake in my new book, Cakeology. It's really simple, again, like many of the designs, and what I love about this one, it looks really eye-catching, but it's completely decorated with buttercream, so it tastes really yummy. So I've got my buttercream already in my bags, so I'm just going to take the brightest colour and just pipe all the way around the edge. I've got my turntable, so it's kind of making it a bit easier for me to kind of go all the way around quickly but if you don't have one it's not the end of the world you can just do it on top of anything like a bowl or an upturned cake tin so just try and keep your coating that you're piping about the same thickness as you go around it's not too much of a problem if it's slightly thicker because we're going to sweep it around with um, a side scraper at the end but just trying to keep it roughly the same thickness is going to help your finished result Pipe about a third of the way up your cake and then repeat the process with your next two colours. So I've reached the top now. I'm just going to kind of go round just to finish off around the top edge of the cake. And just continue all the way in. There we go. So that's completely covered. Next, smooth the top off by holding a palette knife at a 45 degree angle against your cake and spinning it round. Okay, so I've smoothed off my top and now I'm going to just use a side scraper and go all the way around the side just to kind of make it nice and flush. So the um, key is to try and do this in one movement if you can. So just make sure you've got your turntable in front of you or your cake on its board and start at the back and also make sure you've got the angle right. So I'm going up 45 degrees. So I'm just checking and then I'm going to go all the way around with quite a firm pressure until I've reached the point where I started and then just sweep it off like that just put my excess in there that's a little bit rough there so you can go around again you can do this a couple of times but i wouldn't really go any more than that so i'm just going to start one more time and just go around once more because it's quite thick just using a nice pressure and then take off so that's a bit better okay and once you've done that just have a look at the top edge so i'm just going to go around with a sharp knife and just going towards the center of the cake once you finish levelling off, repeat the same process with the next two tiers. Okay, so now it's time to assemble the whole cake. It's quite easy to do. Um, so um, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of buttercream on there and just the next one. So first of all, have a look where you want the front of your cake to be because I'm going to line up all the best bits at the front. So I'm going to pick my favourite bit. So I quite like that. So that's going to be my front here. So take my next tier and just choose where I want to have the front. I think that's going to be my front. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to lift this on with that bit showing. So I'm just going to take cake lifter here and literally just lift it on and place that as centrally as you can. You can't really move it about too much after and it doesn't matter if you knock it a bit because we're going to be putting some piped beads in the middle so I'm quite happy with that. Next, carefully add your final tier, again checking that you have the best side facing forward. Okay, so I'm going to go around with the pearls now. I've got number three piping nozzle, so I'm going to get quite nice big pearls. So I'm just going to make sure I've got the right one. So the peachy one, I'm just going to go around the top. So just literally with these, if you haven't done it before, have a practice on the surface. Just You need to squeeze and then drag back. Squeeze and then stop and drag back. So you're just doing kind of continual pearls all the way around. So squeeze and stop, squeeze and stop. So I'm just making a kind of pearl trim and sometimes we call this a snail trail. Now use the same pearl effect on the next tier down using a different colour. So you can see here where I um, lifted the cake on, I made a bit of a kind of finger mark. Before piping over that, I could just neaten it off a little bit and then go over with my pearls, just so it's not kind of trying to pipe over a big gaping hole. It's at the back anyway, so you won't really see. Lastly, pipe the pearl effect to the base of your cake with the final colour. And there you go, a really pretty effect which I love and it's really on trend at the moment. Give it a go.